How you doing, Vapors? Vapors back. And I told you that in the last video that there were going to be three more items coming in. And I'm going to show you all three that came in. Okay, the first one is Siegfried Meshed RTA. Now you can you can use mesh or you can use coils in this. Okay, and it's German engineered. Okay. It's a brown box. We'll go over that in a minute. I really don't want to go over this. I'm going to make a video on this uh, uh, <clears throat> here shortly. So it's a mesh RTA. Everybody knows that I'm doing mesh. Okay. And I like Jay Hayes, the idiot that they're selling millions and millions of these. And I just don't like mesh. I'm just not going to do mesh. But, and there's a lot of other people that I'm just not going to do it without a coil. Well, whatever. Okay. But anyway, there's going to be one of the videos coming up the Siegfried Mesh to RTA. And also, I got the Watofo Profile M by Mr. Just Right One and Watofo. Okay. And there's the box. We're going to do a video on that. And I'm going to tell you straight up what I think about this thing right away. I think this is a knockoff on a Doom, the regular Doom RTA that came out almost two years ago. Okay, but we'll see. But today, we're going to do this. It's a mod. And I got this mod because I just wanted to get one. I've always wanted to get one that you could see through that was amber. Okay, this is called a Rinko, R-I-N-C-O-N. Jelly box amber clear mod. Okay, so let's go around the box. That all says Rinko 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 on it. On this side, it just says they use uh, recycled paper and inks and stuff like that. And then on the back, as you can see, all the regular info scratch the barcodes. The, the websites, the social medias they're on, and all that. And then it says it comes with one jelly box, 228 watt mod, a Type X, Type C recharging thing, which is the new deal. It charges things a lot faster, people. Your a user manual, our certificate card, and a warranty card. Okay, so it's still packaged. Rinko on that side. And then uh, www.rinko.com on that side as the box slides out of this sleeve. So, anyway. We're going to open it up, take the condom off. Right? Just so you people know that I'm not... I get these things and I try to put them together for you guys just to say, we're not going to be do, doing too much putting together on this. We're just going to look at it. Right, and uh, we're gonna put some batteries in it, obviously. And I'm gonna put a damn boom doom X on it. And I got something to say about that, too. Once I get this thing out of the horrific sleeves they do on them without putting them finger holes, okay. We open it up, and it's got a uh, blah, 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 blah. warning do not use chairs, but use uh, damaged batteries in this thing it's a battery you know they're almost in every box of this stuff nowadays right and then a quality certificate let me see what it says uh, QA pass 03 that's what it is quality control whatever that means they may just be sticking that in there this is after sales service warranty card. If you have any problems with the product, please fill the rear refrigerator so that the manufacturer can provide you after sales service. And it's got a thing you can fill out on the back of there. Let's see if we can bring it in. Well, anyway, on the back, I can read it for you. Customer name, purchasing date, telephone number, place of purchase, product name, product code, reason for changing or refunding, and your address. And then we have, let's 
looks like a uh, owner's manual. Owner's manual. Pretty good owner's manual. It's a .96 display screen. It's got a left right button on the bottom, a fire button. Uh, right uh, you can make uh, the screen Tiffany red, Tiffany blue, green, yellow, purple. Okay, press one. Three times to fire it up. Alright, we'll go through that later. But here it is in the box, people. What I meant. I've always wanted one of these. There's other companies that have done these. TBL's done them um, and other people. But uh, anyway, there it is outside of the box. Okay. There's the screen. Left, right button. This, we'll get into that in a minute. It's got a little logo here. Let me see how good that logo is. It looks like it's embedded in the plastic and it's metal. Yeah looking at how they machined it. it looks pretty damn clean I don't see any marks on this you would see marks on this uh, if, because of it, it's being amber and, and high impact plastic okay the rest of it seems like a uh, aluminum okay with a stainless steel and I guess that's a gold trip 510 connector there okay so on the bottom it says jelly box 228 watt mod designed by Rinko you can see that well my camera does that it's a 10 h 80p Logitech so it should be coming in focusing by itself but it rarely does anyway all right and one thing i can say right off the bat I'm listening to that right there that's not that's not a tight battery box came right open and it's one of them freaky ones that moves around so I don't know about let if you if you're a real hard worker and you're gonna throw this thing down on the ground uh, tables and things like that in your truck or whatever. Uh, I'm gonna say right now that this you're gonna mess up this battery door unless you put your battery door in there and put some kind of foam across this that you can attach to it. Like you can get some Velcro, right? Put it right on the middle of this Velcro and put a a pad and it would probably not not mess up like that I mean there's ways to do it people I mean you can you can even uh, you know charge this thing via the USB port okay via the USB port which this doesn't have a USB port does it isn't that interesting that I see So you're gonna have to oh yeah it does it has a USB port right here you could you could put black or silver tape on this and you probably wouldn't destroy it you know like I have black duct tape very extreme I'll show you very extreme right so if you put it across there and cut it like one or two layers you could probably throw this thing in your truck and everything like that and just charge it with that and when, whenever they tell you that you shouldn't charge these things by the USB I, I do it all the time and I have chargers here okay I have some I have some really good chargers here I have eVest and extra I have them they do every battery known to mankind you know but the thing is I just I don't have to charge mine that much so because they're all mostly desktop and uh, if I want real fresh batteries I'm going on a long ride and stuff I'll charge four batteries up and put them in a box you know holders and bring them with me 
you know so so anyway we opened it up we're gonna put a few batteries in here it's marked plus minus all right so looks like the minus goes on the outside and the positive goes on the screen side okay so anyway you got to pull that out and then push it back in pull it out push it back in pull it out push it back in right to lock it up so it's like a standard mod it says it fires up in three clicks we'll see brought out a pair of batteries that needed to be charged today or did I put them in the wrong the right way oh shoot I put the batteries in wrong dumb me all right yeah I'm gonna see that that battery door is not gonna be the best it's tight though it's tight, but there's no more movement now that the batteries are in there. I still don't like that, though. Okay, we're on. Turned on. Okay. We're going to put it up to, like, 45 watts. I don't know what it said about changing the color of it. Um, we'll take a look real quick, see if I can get it changed the colors. You guys can do this on your own. Turn on the device and press the fire button and right button to enter the mode to adjust color. Okay, so the right button here and the fire button at the same time. We'll see. Okay, so now it's in red mode. So now it's in blue. Now it's in yellow. Well, you guys can't see the colors. Now it's in purple. You know what? I think I'll leave it on. Uh, I'm going to put it on yellow. I think it goes better with the mod, but you guys really can't see that color on this but it, that, that's what it changes okay so there's no atomizer on it now we got that I've got it at 45 watts it shows the voltage and wattage 45 the ohms but I don't have any uh, uh, tag attached to it right now so you can actually see the uh, electronics in the bottom down there you see that in that neato you know maybe it, maybe it will show the color now that came in for a minute I guess not it's gonna flicker all right you can see the batteries inside now I've always wanted one of these I don't know I don't know why maybe I'm weird or something but maybe some of the people out there are like me all right so what we're gonna do is uh, I'm just gonna I'm gonna take a vape right now off my Doom X RTA and Smock Alien. Man, if you ain't got one of these yet, people. Uh, and this is what I was gonna go into the story about it right now. Is that I'm thinking seriously of going to all these and just mesh RTAs and RTDAs because I'm tired of pushing the squamp. Okay? I, I just, every once in a while, you know, you just don't squonk it right and you get that half burnt hit. I rarely do, you know, but it just seems like you always get one. And RTAs won't, won't do that if you do it, if you build it right and, and all that. And I don't have to mess with it. When I get it on there, when I get it on there, so there, we put the Doom X RTA on there, full of Twist Lemon 
Where is it? Got to show it. Got to give the kudos to Twist, because that's mostly what I do in Fried and Candyman. Pink Punch Lemonade. Yep. So, we got it on there now. I'm going to take our first vape off it, see how quick it responds and all that. I can pretty much tell when it does. Pretty quick response on that, people. Uh, like I said, I bought this because I wanted it, you know. And it's got the lights inside it. I don't know if you guys know that or knew that about it. When you push the fire button, it lights up inside. So if you're out somewhere in a bar, they're all going to be seeing it when you when you fire it up. The smoke, but isn't that cool? Look, I don't work for anybody, and I'm not promoting any company, but I got these on CheapVapingDeals.com, and it goes to Sourcemore, and they, they're coming out of Sichuan, China, and they send them to Hong Kong. You get them within 10 to 14 days, okay? 10 to 14 days, you'll have this at your house. And if you order ahead like I do, I pay an immense amount less. All right, for this. I got this for, what was it, $21 for the mod itself. And stateside, they're running $59. Okay, so what was my shipping? My shipping was 12 bucks. So I paid 32 bucks, 30, $33 versus 59, and I waited 12 days, 14. So if you're playing ahead, that's it. Let's see if it lands. Man, let's see. I like it in my hand. Let me see here. I'd rather maybe do it like that. Just to keep my hand off the buttons. I think maybe I'm going to take it up though. To 55. I would take this thing up let me see if it'll go all the way up there why anybody would ever go this high I don't know yes it does 228 watts So, on a damn vape Doom X, they tell you, they recommend not going above 60. So, we'll do a 60. Okay, 60 watts. So, it looks like that light in there flashes twice. We'll, we'll, we'll do it on the screen real close to see. Well, I guess you have to hold it. Well, you, oh, okay, so I know what it does. It, the light lights up initially, and if you keep on vaping with the button down, it's probably going to come on again. This is the other side. Look at the red lights in there, too. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I like it. It's just, this is one that I wanted, okay? So if you want it, it's on CheapVapingDeals.com. SourceMore.com, people. And also Health Cabin. These are all the Szechuan China that's going through Hong Kong, that's bypassing all the bullshit in America, and you're getting your products. Now, e-juice, I wouldn't recommend buying any e-juice from China. Okay, only USA, so it's fully, you know, looked at. Okay, you don't want to buy something. They never buy any vape juice off the street that ruined the vape industry. They, they, that was a government, government setup. Okay, and and filthy drug dealers who who were buying empty pod cartridges and filling them with illegal substances, drugs, and and mixing it with things that would kill you, would virtually almost kill you. Okay, and if nobody knows that, the government knew it, and they knew these were safe. Okay, so. Anyway, 
That's all for that one. Okay, today. I like it. I'm going to make it a daily vapor for a while. See how it performs. If it breaks in a month from now, I'll tell you, don't buy the piece of crap. Right? And uh, so, look out in a day or two. I'm going to have. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to do. Like I said, let me get them up here for you. The Siegfried meshed RTA, which you can use coils in also, and, and you can use them in the profile too, and, and your 4.5 and all that. You can use coils and all that if you want people. And the profile M. So these are coming next. This one, this one's coming next, and this one's coming after that one. Okay? I'll do them and build them and show you, tell you what I think about them. Okay? So everybody be good. Look, hit my likes and subscribes. And Google, YouTube doesn't pay us anything. Vape, vape, uh, monitors don't get paid anything also I got some news for you they added me on all their sites uh, damn bait which I'm kind of proud of with Tofo has done that in the past also I won with Tofo photo contest before photographing their products so now I'm on two major companies as being a uh, they're following me and I'm also following them of course I followed them first, you know, so I'm not trying to make out like it's a big deal or nothing. Okay, so I hope everybody has a good day. Hit my subscribe button, hit my like button, and uh, uh, you guys all have a great day.